Nerd Rats, we're back doing another blind viewing. We're going to watch Alkaline's Lump Sum. Here we go. All right. See, there's those effects again. They're making the background change before the the person in the shot changes. Hey, this has got a vibe. We're in a baseball park. I feel if he was by himself, it wouldn't be as good. I think you do need the girls for this video, for sure. Sometimes there's not really a point, but there's a point here. Also, that shot they keep showing of him on that... I'm not sure if they just happen to catch a storm, which would be dope. And they're just showing the shots where the thunderstorm's happening. Hey, sometimes you get lucky on site. Just took over a country club or a, a park for a day. That's pretty easy to get a permit at a park, really, to be honest with you. This dude is also giving me some early 2000s vibes. Got a lot of white on. Really dig that. He's also got a lot of chains on. That's Every time I see a lot of chains and a lot of showing off, I feel like 2000 to 2004 in in the rap like time period for making music videos. Which actually contributed to, I think, uh, conscious rap because we were all like, everybody was blazing too much, too much bling, I guess. I mean, video gets kind of boring. We've kind of like, we've got it. Dude's doing his thing on camera. We got a lot of booty shaking. Seen it, but that's hip, that's hip hop music. And to be honest with you, uh, Probably some background dancers for him or something. Uh, you know, the only place I'd be able to find some of these girls are the girls that actually do it professionally. It's a little hard hard thing to ask, to ask if you can have a girl just kind of dancing on. Hey, you want to come out and just like show off your body on camera? Tough thing to sell sometimes. But a lot of these guys like to do it in their videos. And really, to be honest with you, it made the baseball part a lot better. Either way, like, subscribe, come check us out. Let us know what you want to see next. Later.